Hello and welcome to Tuner Tips by Todderbert. In front of us through the Iron Snow IR14W, this is an ultra portable solar panel charger. You can find this selling on Amazon for $29.99. I'll have links below if you want to check it out. It's a really neat alternative power source that you can carry with you anywhere. It's super compact, fits in the car, backpack, bug out bag, whatever you have. Uh, then you have means other than just batteries to power your devices. Very happy with this product. I think you guys will find this very interesting. So uh, let's check it out. Uh, weight wise, it weighs 200 grams, so it's very lightweight. And as you can see, it folds up really small. There's a ton of these products out there. Uh, I just like this one because it looks very minimalistic, and that's nice. Uh, there's just you know these monster ones that you know, are harder to pack, but this thing looks like it can fit anywhere, and I'm pretty happy to have it. Uh, dimension wise, when it's folded up like this, we have about an inch in thickness, which is great. And then uh, dimension wise, we have four and three eighths of an inch in width, and we have a length of five and three quarters of an inch. Not bad. Let's do a size comparison with it closed up. I usually have some radios handy. You get a CC Skywave you could actually charge with this. Not bad. We have a uh, CC Pocket as well. These nice little weather radios. Cool to have on hand. Yep. Also, if you don't have those radios, we also have a deck of cards here. Iron Man, yeah. He's the man with the master plan. He loves to charge his suit with solar power, man. He's the Iron Snow rep. <laughs> He's got the stickers to prove it on his armor. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just having fun. But there's a deck of cards. Gives you an idea just how portable this little guy is. Now in this video, I'm going to be able to show you. I went outside with it. And uh, was charging some devices, so stay tuned for that as well. You get to see this in action, uh, charging an emergency radio and charging a power bank. Um, hard to get readings <laughs> with direct sunlight um, to get the best readings, but uh, I'll be able to tell you because I recorded it and written it, wrote it down. So definitely, um, as you can see, you can go over features. Uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, it comes with this little band here. Let's undo it. Here we are. The material here uh, that covers the solar panels is that ETFE, a fluorine-based plastic. It has high corrosion resistance, strength, and a wide temperature range. They say you can operate this at negative 40 to 65 degrees Celsius. That's quite a range. Uh, I'm amazed by that. So yeah, real strong material, and it has great uh, light absorption. So let's go ahead and open this up now. It probably won't fit on frame on my video because my camera video frames only so large but as you can see this opens up into six individual panels that kind of give you a general idea there you go it's about as much as i'm going to be able to show you maybe a couple a little bit let's see how high i can get with the tripod here yeah i get most of it in there in frame just right about there there we go cool so yeah you can see how it opens up and it, each little panel here uh, measures three and three eighths of an inch by four and seven eighths of an inch if you want to idea and you get six of them which is pretty nice as you notice you get these little hook points on each corner of the device of course you got connecting wires in between and this material is supposed to last but 20 years they say well that's not bad so that's how i had it laid out like this all six panels you get to see that in the videos that i took um, again it's very simple in the room here you won't see it start charging the charging box is on the back here and it has a little light that's blue. It lights up when it's receiving enough power to power a device. I think it needs about close to generate about a half amp before it turns on and starts giving you energy. So, but yeah, there's the front. Very nice. Liking that. Um, very easy to set up. I just laid it on a bush and it was charging just fine uh, with uh, direct sunlight. Now, when I tested this product, um, my location is 40. 42 degrees latitude, so I'm nowhere near the equator, so the sun is definitely at an angle. Uh, but with the sun at its zenith on a sunny summer day, um, I was able to record an output uh, on the back of this jack here of 1.8 amps or 9 watts. So that's pretty good when they're advertising 14 watts. Maybe you'll get closer to that rating because if you're closer to the equator, um, yeah, but for where I'm at, 9 watts, I'm pretty impressed, pretty happy with it. So let's go to the back side. It has their name printed on every panel there. Iron Snow, Iron Snow, as you can see. This is waterproof material except the box, so I don't know. I wouldn't get it wet. You're not going to be using it in the rain anyway. Because <laughs> a cloudy day, this wing will produce zero power. 
I will uh, to vouch to that. If you just cover one panel in the sun, it cuts the power. So you definitely got to make sure not to shadow it. Uh, so here we have a USB jack. It's just a simple 5-volt output. Uh, like I said, it's going to produce about up to 14 watts. I don't know if you'll get near that. Maybe close. Like I said, I got 9 watts. I was impressed. 1.8 amps. Awesome. It has a DC barrel jack. I'm not sure what it produces. I wasn't able to measure that because I didn't want to short anything out. So I just left it alone. There's no information on that barrel jack, but it's probably a 5 volt output. I don't think it's 12 volt. Could be 12 volt. I'm not sure. You would think it would be 12 volt for car batteries, say. Uh, but no cable came with that. And no cable came for this. So you have to provide your own cable. And like I said, it there's a little blue light comes on when you have enough power being generated. So yeah, that's it. So you got it opened up there. Now when, it, when you want to close it up, it's fairly simple. Oh, I'm just going to remember how it folded up. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Hold on a second. Should be natural because I haven't uh, done it a few times. There we go. Okay. So yeah, fold it back up. Get your Ranger band back on there because we'll just leave it stored like this so I can show you with other stuff. Yeah. So what I charged, and you get to see here, and then we'll break uh, to those videos, and we'll do final thoughts after that. Is uh, I charged it with a few items. Let me just bring this down a little bit. Uh, of course, their flagship radio here, the um, IR. This is the I can't remember, the 688, I believe? Yeah, AM, FM, NOAA weather alert, stereo radio with shortwave. Pretty amazing radio, has 10,000 milliamp hour battery inside of it. Uh, they say this is a good pair. Uh, I'm gonna say not the best pair because this only accepts a one amp in charge rate when this can provide much more power. Um, it's, it'll still charge this radio just fine. It's just, this is a slow charging radio, unfortunately. Um, but they still can go together uh, if you're looking for a decent radio. But, you know, you can go smaller. This, this is pretty big. Um, but if you want a smaller radio, um, they're out there. Like uh, this, just for this example, I don't know if you can find this one, but a little baby Hong Ronda radio. Um, you can charge this with the solar panel. It has a flashlight. It has a removable 18650, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I'm a fan of that stuff. And it's really small. It's the same size as this little solar panel. So you could like, pack these together. And hardly take up any space. You got your emergency radio, your preps, you're all set to go. The only thing with this radio is it's uh does not have weather alert. It's just AM FM shortwave. But at least it's a radio source and a lot of news on AM band. But just cool stuff you can charge. Another th neat thing is um you'll have your radios, your phones, your flashlights, and that's great. And then you have to have cables for each. I find that the best thing to have this paired with is a power bank. And as you'll see in my video, I charge up a monster one, but first we'll start with a smaller one. Here's the Mr. Bat, 10,000 milliamp hour. You can still find these small power banks out there. And again, perfect match. Look how small that is. You'd almost put another band around it to hold it onto this. And you can easily charge this power bank up with the solar panel uh, during like half a day of sunlight. Not bad at all. Pretty impressed. Um, and in the video, uh, this bad boy... This solar panel, I couldn't believe it was charging uh, this monster Romas. This is a bad boy. 30,000 milliamp hour. I re reviewed this sucker. This thing is great. Uh, I'm just trying to find a mile number on it. I don't remember what it was. Um, if you look it up, if you look up Romas in my name, there's some information there on the back. But it has three different inputs. Um, Type-C, uh, uh, Lightning, Micro-USB. So this is kind of nice, universal style. So whatever cable you have handy, you can use. But I used a micro USB and I was getting that uh, high rate of charge from the solar panel to this and that's great. So you you charge your bigger device like this and then this can charge the other devices at night or and keep things running like say LED lighting and other items you have that are rechargeable. That's a good way to, to do it because then any extra power is being saved uh, that you harness with the solar panel. Good combination, a large power bank with that. Or if you don't want to carry this big monster with you hiking, get something a little smaller, a little bit more dense, compact, like a 10,000 or maybe a 15,000 uh, milliamp hour bank. Just an idea for you guys. So let's break away to those videos and then we'll come back and do some final thoughts. So this is right here. And yeah, let's go check out those videos. It's really fun. Uh, you'll see me doing the Iron Snow uh, charging that one and the Romas. Let's go see those videos.
as you can tell with those videos, uh, it, it's hard to get a good uh, recording on that meter because we had to aim it at the sun and try to get the best value. But uh, yeah, I definitely got 1.8 amps, 9 watts at 5 volts uh, with this panel charging the Romos. Yes. Um, I'll have links below, of course, to the I Iron Snow IR14W, maybe this big boy power bank if you're interested in having a monster, and also to their flagship radio, which is pretty neat. Uh, it, it is worth it uh, to have. It's, it's cool. It does quite a bit, and I'm pretty impressed with what this has for capability as well. So there you are, the Ironman Snow IR14W at 29 bucks Definitely gets an upvote for me. Um, yeah, it, it fits users real well. Anybody um, that's watching this video, this would be good for any household uh, to have as a backup. Uh, you don't have to have a monster power station or a monster solar panel just to harness a little bit of power to charge your cell phone um, in a power out situation or a two-way radio uh, that you might find useful uh, in your situation if you're up in the woods. Uh, it just, it's a good idea to have some kind of extra type of power versus a car battery or um, you know extra dry cell batteries. So if you don't have those handy, which I recommend you keep those as well, uh, you have this as a secondary option. So Definitely worth the money. Check out the links below. Support the channel. You guys are great. Hope you enjoyed this video and this introduction to the Ironman Snow uh, Solar Charger. I'm glad they came out with this. Um, it's neat to see emergency radio companies saying, yeah, the little solar panels on our radios are not adequate to charge the radio. They just kind of look fun, like fun. They don't do a whole lot except top the battery off or keep it trickle charged. That's about it. Uh, and they come out with a product like this that's serious and it does the job of charging the radio and charging your devices. So very happy. All right. Yep. Thanks guys for watching. Um, definitely subscribe. If you like the products, Iron Snow, hit the bell notification. If they go on sale, I always post it and you guys can cash in on the deal. And of course, three comment below. You think about the IR14W. Is it for you? Um, do you like how compact it is, how light it is, how simple it is to use? Uh, let me know. I'd be interested. And if you have any other options that you think I should look at, um, I'll definitely, uh, Take a, take a look and see what uh, it's about. Maybe I'll compare the two. So, yeah, just comment below and let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.